Hello and welcome to the Shared Libraries tutorial on how to find sources for the assignments in your Perspectives on Dress, Culture, and Society class. By the end of this video, you should know how to use OneSearch to find books, newspapers, magazine articles, and scholarly journal articles to help support your assignments for this class. You'll also learn how to use the library's interlibrary loan services to request books and articles. You'll learn how to use the library's online encyclopedias to find background information on your topic, and you'll learn how to use the library's A to Z databases. When it comes time to find resources for your papers and projects, the library's website is the best place to start. Just go to libraries.etsu.edu. The search bar in the middle of the screen is called OneSearch. And it's the most Google-like experience the library can offer you in that it brings you a list of search results from our mini databases and our catalog. However, OneSearch is not like Google in two very important ways. First, you must spell your search terms correctly. And last, unlike Google, you cannot ask OneSearch a question and still retrieve relevant search results. Instead, you'll want to enter the most important words from your research topic. So today I'll be researching the Aran sweater as it pertains to Irish culture. I'd like to learn a little more about the history of these iconic cabled sweaters and their significance to Ireland and the Irish people. So to begin, I can simply type in Aran sweater into the search bar and hit enter. However, because I'm searching for a phrase, I can try placing my search terms in quotation marks to narrow my search results down to only the most relevant search results. Now, this trick only works with phrases and with book titles. There is no need to place single words in quotation marks. I'll then click search the library. And one search will give me a set of search results, breaking them up by different material types. So I can view magazine and journal articles, books and ebooks, journals with my search terms in the title, and in this case, there are no journals about Aaron sweaters. Um, I can also look at streaming media. If there happen to be any films on my topic, they will be listed under media. OneSearch will also even recommend some databases I might try with my search terms. And there are also dissertations and theses one search will retrieve. If I scroll up to the top of the page, I can ask OneSearch to run a separate newspaper search for me simply by clicking on the search button next to newspaper search. Notice the gold bar at the top of the page that reminds you to sign in. You will need to log in with your ETSU username and password in order to see full text of journal articles and ebooks. I retrieved over 2,000 newspaper articles with my search terms, which tells me my keywords are a little too broad and I need to think of some ways to narrow down my topic. On the right side of the screen, there are several ways to narrow my search. If I scroll down, um, I can put a date range in and only look at articles from a certain time period. I'll narrow the date range to 2010 through 2020. This will give me almost 800 search results. I can then continue using the limiter menu on the side to further narrow down my search results. The subject limiter allows you to look at subjects within your topic. So for instance, if I wanted to look at how Aaron sweaters have impacted the clothing industry, or what fashion designers were inspired by or have worked with Aaron sweaters in the past, I could click on those specific subject limiters. I could also limit to only the languages I can read. And if I wanted to limit my search results to articles appearing in certain newspapers, I could click the newspaper of my choice. For this particular topic, the Irish Times might be a good newspaper to try. Another way to narrow our search results is to add more information to the search bar at the top. 
Let's make our topic more specific and try Aaron's sweater and history. I've placed AND in all caps in order to tell OneSearch to find both the phrase Aaron's sweater and the word history in the same article. This trick works in our databases and it also works in Google as well. I retrieved over 400 search results. But notice OneSearch removed all of my limiters. Whenever you add new information to the search bar, OneSearch starts your search over like a brand new search and you have to add in any limiters that you had added in earlier. Once you get your search results down to a manageable number, you can click the thumbtack next to the title of articles that you'd like to save and come back to at a later date. This saves each article to your favorites. And you can access this list at any time by clicking on the thumbtack at the top of the page, as long as you are logged in with your ETSU username and password. So let's look at the article, Weaving Fabric of Life, History and Culture. To view it, just click on the title and then scroll down until you see View Online. This article is available in several different library databases. I'll click on the ProQuest database to view the full text of the article. From here, I'm taken into the ProQuest database where I can view the full text of the article. Um, I can cite this article by clicking on the Cite button at the top and choosing the citation style I need. Remember, always, always double check your citations with a style guide such as Purdue's Online Routing Lab, otherwise known as the L. Citation makers often contain typos. I can also save this article as a PDF. I can email it to myself, print it, or even save it to a cloud-based drive like a Google Drive or my Microsoft Office OneDrive. To find books, journal, or magazine articles for my topic, I can always go back to my page of search results and click on View More under each material type. So let's start with books. There are only two books in my set of search results. One is a physical book and the other is an ebook version of the same exact book. I can read this ebook from my computer simply by clicking on the title and selecting the database under View Online. To view journal and magazine articles, go back to the original page of search results and click on View More next to Journals. Before I do so, I'm going to add the keyword history to my search just to narrow it down a little bit. Notice I have the same limiter menus on the side as I did in our newspaper search, with the exception of a new limiter under Availability. If I need peer-reviewed or scholarly journal articles on my topic, I can simply click the Peer Reviewed button. This will take out all of the popular magazines and trade journals and only bring me scholarly journal articles. I can also add in a date range and subjects from the subject limiter menu. I can limit my search results to only those languages I can read and I can limit articles uh, from certain journals if I want to. If ETSU has access to an article, you'll see available online in green font. If we don't have access, the article will say no online access in gray font. If you'd like to limit your search results down to only articles that we have access to, you can uncheck the box next to expand beyond library holdings. Let's talk a moment about what to do when you can't find much on your topic. The library provides a free service called Interlibrary Loan through which you can request articles and books. There are a few different ways to request interlibrary loan material. First, if you're looking for articles and you're already in OneSearch, you can just make sure the box uh, Expand Beyond Library Holdings is checked. Clicking this button will show you articles on your topic, not owned by our library, but still available for you to request through interlibrary loan. In most cases, articles requested through interlibrary loan take less than three days to arrive in your inbox, 
as a PDF. In many cases, the turnaround time is much sooner, even within a few hours. Let's take a look at the article Cable Crossings, the Aaron Jumper as Myth and Merchandise. One search tells me that we do not have online access to this article. To request it through Interlibrary Loan, I'll click the article title, then scroll down until I see ETSU ILL under How to Get It. Clicking this link will take you to ILLiad, our Interlibrary Loan interface. From here, you'll need to log in with your ETSU username and password. And if you've never used Interlibrary Loan before, you'll need to click on First Time User to register. In most cases, once you've logged in, Iliad will pre-populate the request form with all the information you need to request your article. All you have to do is click Submit, and a PDF of the article will be emailed to you within three to five days, but usually much, much sooner. Let's say you've found a book on Amazon or a friend has recommended a book to you and the library doesn't have it. You can also go directly into Iliad and make an interlibrary loan request that way. To do so, click on Use the Library tab on the main page of the library's website and then click on Interlibrary Loan and Document Delivery under the heading Borrow, Renew, Request. This will take you to the Interlibrary Loan webpage where you can click the button under Log In to Iliad. From here, you'll need to log in again using your ETSU username and password if you've not already done so. Once logged in, click on the New Request drop down menu and select Book. Fill out the short form providing as much information about the book as you'd like and click Submit. The book will be mailed to the shared library for you to pick up. Books usually take a couple of weeks to arrive. Sometimes it takes longer if the book is rare or if the loaning library is located far away from ETSU. Please be sure to request books early in your research process if you know that you will need them. If you need books for your research and you don't already have a book title in mind, and maybe you're not finding much on your topic in the library's OneSearch, you might try using WorldCat. WorldCat is a database containing lots of libraries' catalogs from around the world, and it can find books available for you on your topic that ETSU does not have. To access it, go to the library's A to Z database page by clicking on Top Databases or the A to Z link under OneSearch. Our databases are alphabetized, and you can get to WorldCat simply by clicking on W and then clicking on WorldCat. Again, you'll need your ETSU username and password if you've not already logged in earlier. Type your search terms into WorldCat and you'll receive a list of books available on your topic. So let's take a look at traditional Aaron knitting by clicking on the title. If you scroll down, you can see all the libraries which own this book. You do want to double check that uh, your correct zip code is listed. And you'll also want to double check that ETSU does not already own the book. It would appear first in the list if we owned it. You'll also want to make sure that the Johnson City Public Library doesn't own the book. We are unable to request books owned by the public library because you can always go to the library and get a free library card from them and then just check the book out there. So I can see that no local libraries own this book. So I'll click on Get It at ETSU to request it through Interlibrary Loan. This will take us back into OneSearch where we can click on ETSU Shared ILL to make our request through Interlibrary Loan. So far, we've learned how to find newspapers, books, and articles through OneSearch, and we've looked at WorldCat and how to find books. But the library also subscribes to over 200 databases. A database is a collection of articles, books, streaming media, and other resources. Some databases are subject-specific, while others are multidisciplinary, meaning that you can use them for any topic. 
If you're not sure which database to use, you can click on the subject menu to view databases for a particular discipline. Think about your topic for this class and what discipline might contain information on your topic. So for this class, you might look at some of the history um, or anthropology databases or humanities databases. You may even look in some art databases. Let's click on history to find some cultural dress and culture information about our topic. And let's look at JSTOR. JSTOR is one of the top databases for history and humanities, literature and art. To use JSTOR, just type your topic into the search bar and begin limiting your search results using the limiters on the side of the page. You can limit to journals or books on your topic. You can also add in a date range and further narrow your search by subject. Notice there is no peer review limiter for JSTOR, and this is because JSTOR is a database that only contains scholarly materials. There are, there are no popular or trade sources in JSTOR. Once you find an article you like, just click on the title to view the full text. From here, you can download the article and bring it up on your computer. Um, you can share it via Twitter or Facebook, or you can email it to yourself or someone else. JSTOR also contains a citation maker for MLA, APA, and Chicago styles. Let's go back to the A to Z database page and take a quick look at one of the multidisciplinary databases the library subscribes to. Remember, these are databases that you can use for any topic at all. Um, to access these databases, just click on Multidisciplinary in the subject menu. Let's try ProQuest. Again, I'll type my topic into the search box. We retrieved 177 search results, and we can limit these with the filters on the side of the screen, just like we did in OneSearch and in JSTOR. We can limit these to peer-reviewed if we want to view scholarly material, um, we can also limit to full text if we want to read the entire text of an article. This database contains many different types of materials, books, journals, magazine and newspaper articles, dissertations, and theses. Let's limit our search results to just popular magazines. And now let's look at the article, Islands Apart. Just click on the article title and then click on full text PDF to view the full text of the article. And from here, this will download a full text PDF to my computer, which I can then open up and read the article on my laptop or my computer, or I can save it if I want to. From here, I can also print, email, or save the article to my Google Drive, and I can also cite this article using ProQuest Citation Maker. Before we leave the A to Z database page, there's one other type of database that will come in very handy for this class. The library subscribes to some excellent electronic encyclopedias. Encyclopedia articles are a great way to get a handle on your research and to familiarize yourself with your topic. For my topic, I might want to read encyclopedia articles on Aaron sweaters and Irish knitting and knitwear, but I also am going to want to read about Irish culture and Ireland in general. And encyclopedia articles are just made for this kind of background research. To access the library's electronic encyclopedias, go back to the A to Z database page. Then click on the drop-down menu for database types. 
click on Reference Tools, and here you will retrieve a list of electronic encyclopedias and dictionaries. A great encyclopedia for cultural topics such as this one would be the Oxford Reference Online Database. Again, you'll just type in your topic into the search bar. And let's search for information just on Ireland, the country of origin for the Aran sweater. Now, I may go back later and look at Irish knitwear or Aran sweaters, but for right now, I just want to find information on Ireland and Irish people. Notice I can narrow my search results down um, just like we did in OneSearch and in JSTOR and ProQuest just by using the filters on the left side of the screen. Let's look at an overview of Ireland. This article provides a quick overview of Ireland and its history and culture with links to other articles on Ireland at the bottom of the article. And that is how to access and use the library's encyclopedia databases and our A to Z database pages. This concludes the Shared Libraries tutorial on how to find resources for your Marketing 2220 class. If you need help with your research for this class or any other class you're taking, please watch the library's video tutorial titled How to Get Research Help. Thanks, and please contact the library if you have any questions. Thank you.